Hey all, I'm Rich on Rich Aesthetic, and recently I was apartment hunting for a new place in Pudong, Shanghai. I'm currently, well, actually I'm also in Pudong, Shanghai, but I'm closer to downtown. Wanted to get closer to work, have a bit, you know, cheaper rent, and also a bigger place. Something I didn't anticipate out there was that a lot of landlords expect more than just a single month of rent up front. I was met with deals for, you know, like three months, six months, even up to 12 months. An entire year's worth of rent expected up front. Now, that didn't come with no perks to myself. Kind of like if you do an annual subscription versus a monthly subscription, you can you know save a little bit of money. Well, it works the same way with rent. In the past, that's not something I've ever been able to take advantage of because I didn't have that much you know cash on me. So without a loan, I'd just be out in the woods doing month to month. But this time, thanks to my pay now, buy later system, the number spreadsheet and Apple shortcut system that I uh, created a video about just a, a couple months ago, I've actually been able to take advantage of one of these deals. Now, I didn't have a virtual vault set up to pay this amount of rent up front. That wasn't planned for. But let me get into the unexpected advantage that I did find allowing me to make this move just a little bit easier than what it would have been. In my in-depth tutorial, I showed all the fancy graphs and whatnot, as well as how the Apple shortcuts input worked. But at least in my opinion, that's not the real advantage to the sheet. The real advantage are the virtual vault system. You allocate money that's in your savings account to purchases you plan to make, and the virtual vault manager or this little dashboard table shows you how much money you have allocated to say your savings or purchase X or holiday Y. If you wanna know more about how the number sheet and Apple shortcuts works, you can check out my in-depth tutorial, which is linked down below as well as one of these corners here in the card. The pay hit link, which is where you get the files, is also linked down below. And if you want, you can throw me a little kickback or you can just subscribe and like the video to let me know that you got the sheet and are enjoying it. I'm saving at a 17% rate. And on top of that, I have my savings vaults for these other purchases and whatnot. Now, the thing is, that money isn't actually locked up in any way. Had I taken out a bunch of buy now, pay later plans for these different purchases that I want to make, that money would not be accessible. And furthermore, after the return period's over, I would be stuck with those items, not being able to decide if I actually want to make that purchase or not. Which is the beauty of the virtual vault system. It's flexibility. This move that I'm doing right now is something that I had planned to make, but just because of circumstances, I hadn't planned financially to pay for more than a single month of rent up front. But because of the stockpile of cash that I had for other goals, I can give myself a loan. Now, because it will take longer than a month to pay back this loan, I will be taking the money out of the account, obviously, and you know, doing a whole transaction for it in the main table. But to keep track of the loan, I'm gonna create a virtual vault say loan for rent at a six month payment schedule and of course activate it immediately. Now, obviously the pseudo account value will be way higher than the actual account value because that the money that I used for the loan is actually part of those other vaults values. But I don't want to take away money from all those vaults because I want to stay at the same progress that those vaults would be or will be when I get that money back, when I pay myself back. So once the loan is paid off fully, I can then delete that virtual vault, which will then correctly adjust the pseudo account total value to be just the value of the other vaults that were always there. And at that point, the pseudo account value plus the savings should match the total account value. And voila, you create a loan, which is a bit of a, you know, buy now, pay later thing, but with your own money, and then you can fix it later, I'll keep in track, and you don't have to create a bunch of other transactions for those other vaults because you plan to get yourself back into that position anyways. So what's my takeaway? Obviously, it would have been better to have created a vault to pay for many months of rent up front a long time ago. But as you may have learned from these videos, I wasn't in the financial situation to do so. So what I've managed to do in the last six months has allowed me to do what I'm doing now with the move and this whole vault system 
and has allowed me to learn about this unexpected advantage. I hope this helps anybody out there who, like me, is maybe struggling a little bit financially or just trying to figure out how to get organized. And if that is you, by all means, go down there, grab that sheet. You don't have to pay anything. Just subscribe and hit that like button. And, you know, reach out to me in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Maybe I can help you in some way. Lastly, I'm going to be back in probably like a few months, hopefully sooner rather than later with a planned update for the Apple shortcuts inputs, depending on if I get Apple intelligence or not here in China. I, I really hope, I really hope before next semester, or at least with the iOS 26 drop, that changes. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe it's going to be a whole year before I can make any cool changes like that. Until the next one, Rich Aesthetic out. Peace.